Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm doing the booktube newbie tag, which apparently was created by Brenda C, but I don't actually know who that is. So I'm going to see if I can find her original video and link it down below. I hope you guys enjoy getting to know a little more about me, because I did, I have already done a video on this channel, but I just thought that this would be a good way to introduce myself properly. Question one is, why did you start this channel? I've probably been making YouTube videos for about a year now, over on Velvet and, Vel uh, over on Velvet and Vibranium, which, my, which is my other channel, which I'll link to down below. I made a lot of book videos on there. I really enjoyed making book videos and I got a good response to them and I wanted to make more so I thought well why not just start a booktube channel because then I can make as many book videos as I want without annoying people who just want to see makeup and clothes. Question two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I should have read these questions before I answered them. I don't know. As like cliche as this is gonna sound, I think everyone brings something new to booktube just by virtue of being who they are because everyone's different so like everyone has different views on books and stuff. Question three is what are you most excited about for this channel? I'm just excited to be able to talk about books more. Like I love talking about books. I love the way my background looks in my book videos which is so much nicer than my background from my other videos. So I'm just excited to make as much book content as I could possibly want and I've started a bookstagram as well for the same reason. I love pictures of books but I didn't want like my blog Instagram to be overrun with pictures of books so now I can have a feed that's just beautiful books and that makes me really happy. Yeah, I'm just excited to be able to talk about books and to connect with people that love books. Question four is why do you love reading? I have always loved reading since I was like little. My mum taught me to read when I was like five. By the time I was about six I was trying to read Harry Potter, by the time I was like seven I was reading Harry Potter. Yeah, I've just loved reading since I was tiny. My family loves reading, my mum always loved reading, my sisters love reading, so I was always surrounded by that environment so I wanted to learn to read too and then when I did I just sort of couldn't stop and you know for 14 years later, I'm still a huge book fan. Question 5 is what book or series got you into reading? And the first book I ever read was Jack and the Beanstalk, that's the book that my mom taught me to read with. So she took me through the whole book and she showed me Jack and she was like, okay, this is Jack, and then I had to go through the book and find every place where it said Jack. And then I had to do that with and and the, and the beanstalk and like she told me all the other words in the book and yeah so that was the first book I ever read. I mean I was just hooked, I just loved reading from there. Between then and Harry Potter I read lots of other books, I was always going to the library but none of those really impacted me in the same way as Harry Potter did I'm sure. I'm sure it's the same for a lot of people. Yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk I guess would have been the book that got me into reading because it's the book that I started reading and from then I haven't stopped loving reading but in terms of the first series that I can actually remember reading and just loving and wanting to ferociously devour it was obviously Harry Potter. Number six is what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? I don't know, probably can we go for coffee? <laughs> okay it doesn't ask me who my favourite booktubers are so I'm just gonna tell you guys. Um, I love Sasha from A Book Utopia, Regan from Peru's Project and Kaz from Little Book Owl. I just feel like all of them would be such like genuinely cool people to hang out with. I just want to go for coffee with them and be friends. Number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? Probably the fact that I've been in a bit of a reading slump. Like I'm reading but I used to devour books. I could read like two 500 page books in a week and now I'm struggling to get through like one normal sized book a week so I guess it would be just not reading enough. I'm, I'm embarrassed about my wrap-up videos because <laughs> I'm like, I read two books this month. I think that'll be a challenge for me, but it'll also motivate me to read more and to sort of get out of that slump and just make more time for reading. Oh, number eight is when did you start reading? I started reading when I was about five. I read Jack and Beanstalk, as I just told you guys, and it was a really cool book. Number nine is where do you read? Mostly on my bed. I really like my bed, um, and I have lots of like cushions and stuff, so if I'm reading during the day I'll have all of my cushions up behind me and I'll just lean back. And if I'm reading at night, I'll just sort of like lie on my side, snuggled under the covers with my book there. Yeah, so I mostly read on my bed. Obviously, I'll read a few pages here and there in other places, like at university, or if I have to go somewhere and wait, then I'll, I might take a book with me, but the bulk of my reading gets done on my bed. <clears throat> and number 10 is what kind of books do you like to read? I kind of like reading most books. I like reading like fantasy and sci-fi. I love reading contemporary. I really like reading biographies and autobiographies of people that I'm really interested in. I like reading non-fiction as well if it's a subject that I'm really interested in. Yeah, so it's just sort of a mis mishmash of everything, like, but probably the thing that I like reading most is YA fantasy and like supernatural stuff. That's probably what you'll find the most of on my red shelf. And I also really like classics just because perfection and the men in them. So it looks like that is all of the questions for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon with another video. Bye!